Hello. Who is this? Hello. Yo. I'm a skinny 18 year old black kid. Yo. This is where I'm staying at John Birmingham's house. Not up here, man. I stay downstairs. It's an art school. The students stay downstairs. The teacher stayed upstairs, man. <laughs> now it's John Birmingham actually filming too. Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the art school. Uh, I'm using his camera. This is the art school. We got a documentary film. Vlog, vlog, newest thing, vlog, vlog, on TV. They ain't called reality TV no more. They got rid of that. They now call it vlog, vlog, you know, something like that. They got a new name for it all the time. It's always been filming real people, like the real world, you know, like they're all in here. We're roommates, and I'm staying downstairs. Just kidding, man. See, it's really me, man. <laughs> it's really me, John Birmingham. Hi, I'm by myself in here again. I've been filming videos here since 2016, since fall of 2016. What fell? No one. That's a good thing. Nobody got hurt, fell down. So let's go outside. <laughs> Why did I laugh? Like, like one of my relatives actually. <sighs> one of my relatives, not white or black, just how she laughs. Okay. We're outside here. We're outside here. This is how we go out here. And this is how I go out here too. And this is how I go out here. Yep, that's right. Hug. Hug Finn. Remember, we go down, walk through all the woods. Huckleberry Finn, the black kid and the white kid. Huckleberry Finn. That's what we did. They made friends. You can walk all through these woods. Look how far these woods go. I show you. That's all we do. I don't feel like walking too far. But it goes way up the mountain up there, see? It goes 2,000 acres back there. You can walk way up there, and there's trails and stuff you can walk on too. And that's pretty cool. And, you know, like this. You walk here. And this video, this video is for my son, Rowan. He can walk all through back here. Hey, look at this light. Look at this sunlight. Hey, this is pretty good. I found a pine cone and, and a daddy long legs. Get away from my pine cone. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry, daddy long legs. There's a bee. You can have the pine cone. You want the pine cone? I'll throw it down. There it is. Look, an ant got it. You want the pine cone? That's good. Okay. This is a video for my son, Rowan. Want to live here? Hi, Rowan. Hi, Rowan. There's way up the mountain we can... Go for walks and adventures in the woods. We can camp on, on at this house. It goes way up to the top of the road up there. We can camp anywhere here or down there near that man's house. If he's home or not, we can camp near his house. But he probably wants the privacy. But he might want he might be want to have it like the old days of how it was when people hung out here and played tennis and did all these fun things maybe not i'll probably get away from his house because i don't 
he might not want he might want privacy so we can camp up here it'll be fun I've got a huge tent I've got it ready right now a huge tent we can carry it up there or put it on a rolly wheels of some kind or carry it up there and set up a tent way up there in the woods or we have these houses we can stay these two houses a guest house a little guest house for Rowan oh let me show you the guest house for Rowan oh and Ivan if Ivan wants to live here in Ayla their baby sister we have the entire home in the guest house and we can camp in the woods and here's the guest house for Rowan if he wants to live here and Danica of course my wife Danica Danica Rowan Ivan and Ayla hi here's a guest house Ooh, smells like ice cream smells like ice cream smells like the ice cream man who we had real ice cream. Is that a leaf? Hey. You can sleep in here on that couch. You can put blankets up there and sleep up there and make a little playhouse. There's a bathroom downstairs. It's fun. This is the guest house, Ron. You can have it to yourself has a refrigerator, you can cook food in the house or in here, somehow put a microwave in here, or just stay in the house too. You can stay here and in the, and wherever you want with me and mama. So you, you should all stay here and live here. Hey, what a beautiful day. It sounds um, ominous out there, the, the distant stuff away from here that there's not. Well, it's just nature, like a plane really far away. Where? Why would you want to go anywhere else, I guess? Or I don't know. Because God knows. Because we don't know, we're flawed. Human beings are flawed, but some people know. Some people know what they're doing. And then sometimes those same people don't know what they're doing, but right now they know, and I didn't know. And I, I didn't know, and they did, but I don't. Because they may have to go places that I'm not supposed to, or I don't know where God wants me to go. So God has a plan. So I've hoped that they would be here for well since 2016 and it's 2024 and since then I got this house looking really good hi Rowan look at the refrigerator it's like we used to have when you were a baby and a little kid it has that same magnet on it this is rip pink pantyhose from my movie I wrote that screenplay in a class with Mama in the year 2000, or 1999. I think it was 99, 1999. Yeah, I think it was 1999 or 2000. <laughs> it was in this class that we had at, together at LMU. Or somewhere. A class. You can take a class, you don't have to go to a university classes are fun sometimes or sometimes you have to go and it's like not easy so if you're not supposed to go don't go to a class but we went to that school that's where we met and you can go to a fun class in Roanoke or somewhere like at Virginia Western or a class open to the public 
and you can take a class at any age and be in there with other people and it's fun and it doesn't have to be like a college or something like that one time I was a teacher at one of them that was pretty good I was trying to get experience so I could work as a professor and they didn't hire me as a professor. And instead I worked on homes for my mom and dad and then by myself. <laughs> Actually I learned I had to work on homes by myself. It was the only kind of work that I knew. Like, oh, this is the kind I knew how to do it because that because my mom and dad did it so I knew how to do it. And then I had I learned how to do it on my own. But I always had God, so I wasn't ever really on my own. God helped me to do everything. Hi. So, where do you want to do? Look, there's so, so many places in this house. You, it takes so long just to walk around from one part of the house to the other. There's so many places in this house. Rowan, this house is three times as big as Mama's house. You don't have a bunch of privacy at your at your home, but you you kind of do. But here you can have more privacy. And, you, and look, you can do chores and save money, or you can get a job if you really want to. But I don't know if you want to. And look, see that box? That's a tent. That's a giant tent. And you could put it in the woods pretend that you and put your stuff in it and like you could put 10 of them and you could have a um, camp rowing and uh have all your friends or something but you got to do the business side of it too and then you could make your own business and we could help you do it <clears throat> like a day camp and the parents drive them here but you yeah. know if you don't want to do all that, then who cares? Just make put that one tent that I already have in the woods. We'll put it together. It'll be somewhere fun. Somewhere else we can stay for fun. But you don't wouldn't even need it because you have the guest house and this house and whatever we want to do. And, and a tent. <laughs> We'd have the tent. <laughs> Check this out. You can stay down here. You can stay down here on these couches. I can sweep it up here and there and you can sweep it up here and there and do chores and we'll pay you money for it so you can buy things and we'll do videos and films and then you can be like the famous one who has your own channel that makes a bunch of money and because <laughs> you're rowing and Ivan too Ivan can do really good things that we teach him like how I taught him art remember Ivan I was the one who taught you art and believed in you and you, and you really liked it and you worked really hard on it. He worked really hard at it on his own when he was like four years old, or no, when he was five. When he was five, he worked at art an hour or two a day, sometimes drawing for an hour or two a day. He'd sit and he got really good at art. I'd say better than most college students already by the time he was 12 or 11. By the time he was 12, over 11, he's really good because he worked at it that hard, that that much. He worked at it that, but um, it's because he liked to do it. God gave him an ability at it. <clears throat> he wasn't trying to do some huge goal or something. He just, that's how God made him good at art. He might not do it too often. He may do it. He should do it more. He has a special ability from God. He, he should do it more and get like, Really, really good. He'd maybe be one of the best artists on earth if he if he keeps it up. Maybe her in the top five thousand or one thousand. Her her number one. He could be like a who knows, like himself, a famous artist of today. I don't know. And Ale is really good at art too, and she's a baby. Well, she's big. She's seven. She's gonna turn eight. It's sad. She's seven. 
She turns eight in four months. August, September, October, November, December. Four months. A little less than four months. About four months. She turns eight. If, if we live that long. Only God knows if we do, but she'll live it. She'll probably live that long. That's pretty fun. When you're not too aware of good and evil, you don't know that God does everything. And you think that your will is pretty amazing. And then you think that you're the one who does all these amazing things that you work so hard at. Because you're not aware that God really does all of it and made you work that hard and gave you everything that you have from your hard work. Other people work just as hard and they had so little and they're like, wow, how awful. But your way is more good than my way. So I want, I'd want i like to be like your way. So I want to be like those people who have a really good will. And they know that they were hard worked did these really good things and they don't give all the credit to God and live every moment to the next for God because they don't know what's going to happen the next moment because God can make it different so instead of leaving everything in God's hands you realize wait a second you kind of know what's going to happen and that's how God wants you to be and God had me be the stupid way because of my own stupid knowledge of good that God does everything I thought, who knows what's going to happen at any moment because I knew too much about good. But you're supposed to know about good. You're supposed to learn more about good, but not about evil. I must have learned about evil. That was the problem. You're supposed to learn as much as you can about good. You have to learn as much as you can about God and, and doing good and how to be good. Of course, what an idiot I was. Of course, praise God, praise Jesus. That was the whole thing that I had wrong. Praise God. Praise Jesus. I'm going to go. Bye. Believe in God and Jesus. I hope to God all of you will be okay and live for God and Jesus while you have the ability to. And if you don't, you may end up getting lost. Because if you're not living for God and Jesus, you will eventually make mistakes. It's like living in the dark without, without seeing with the lights on. It's like turning the lights off all of a sudden and you're trying to make your way around you will make mistakes that's how it is if you don't have god and jesus that's how it is for all of us praise god praise jesus learn more about god and jesus love god with all you have with all the faith you have and if you lose your faith it's because you didn't study about god and jesus and you don't know enough about god and jesus <laughs> but some people try to, some people try to study about god and jesus and then they just they turn their back on God intentionally because they're those that's pretty bad. Don't do either one of those bad ones unless you're really good and I didn't know it. And some people who are who think they're agnostics or don't they think they don't believe in God really have God more than all of us. So we can't judge who's gonna get into heaven any more than another human being. Only God will judge us. Meaning Jesus is God on Judgment Day. Jesus will literally judge us on Judgment Day. So we have to be like Jesus to get, in, to, get to God, wherever God is. We have to be like Jesus to get to God through Jesus. Meaning we have to be like Jesus. We can't hurt him. We can't do anything bad to him. Ever. Ever. Don't ever think about anything that bad. Don't hurt anyone. Always be kind to others. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Bye. <laughs>